Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be discussing about early childhood caries. This is me, Dr. Raman Dungel. Let's start with our topic. The contents of today's presentation will be definition of early childhood caries, etiology, risk factors, and conclusion. What is early childhood caries? Let's see. Different terminologies are given for early childhood caries by Winter, Moss, Horowitz and Davies. Winter called it nursing caries. Moss called it tooth clearing neglect. Infant and early childhood dental decay by Horowitz and early childhood caries. The term early childhood caries was given by Davies in 1998. American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry has defined early childhood caries is the disease of early childhood caries is the presence of one or more decayed, missing or filled tooth surfaces in any primary tooth in a child 71 months of age or younger. Decayed, missing or filled. Decayed can be non-cavitated or cavitated both. Missing should be due to caries or filled tooth surfaces. In any primary tooth in a child, 71 months of age or younger. That is to say, less than 6 years old. In children younger than In children younger than 3 years of age, any sign of a smooth surface caries is indicative of Severe Early Childhood Caries SECC. From ages 3 through 5, one or more cavitated, missing or filled smooth surface in a primary maxillary anterior teeth or a decayed missing or filled score of greater than 4 or equal to 4. In the children of age 3, for age 4 greater or equal to 5 and for children of age 5 greater or equal to 6 that constitutes severe early childhood caries and this criteria was also given by American Association of Pediatric Dentistry sorry for the typo in the spelling of association and here we can see what uh, early childhood caries looks like an etiology talking about the etiology it is a multifactorial disease uh, pathogens time substrate and host these all are required for the disease process. Let's go to pathogens. When we kiss the baby, we are transmitting the streptococcus mutants. So please don't do that. Characteristics feature. It produces large amount of acid. Streptococcus mutants produces large amount of acids. It produces large amount of extracellular polysaccharides which favor plaque formation. And it colonizes the teeth. Similarly, substrate is the second etiological factor that is fermentable carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are utilized by microorganisms to form dextrans which adhere microorganisms to tooth surface and cause organic acid to demineralize the tooth. Whenever you give chocolates to your children, be careful. Host. They need to be a host. The teeth, thin enamel in dentin makes it more susceptible and developmental groups, hypomineralization of teeth, all are the causative factors. Time. More the time the child slips with the bottle in the mouth, high the risk of caries. Similarly, the hard boiled candies. When the child sucks the candies for a long period of time, because the salivary flow and the swallowing reflex decrease and hence providing more time for the accumulation of carbohydrate in the mouth. And etiological risk factors of uh, early childhood caries are mutants, streptococci, fermentable carbohydrates, host, time, infant feeding patterns, poor oral hygiene, salivary factors, fluoride and human milk. Similarly, secondary etiological factors are immunological factors, acid fruit drink, poor socioeconomic status, lack of dental knowledge and stress. Infant feeding pattern. How infant feeding pattern may predispose to early childhood caries? Let's see. Bottle feeding, 
use of pacifiers dipped in honey or sugar that will be easy to pacify the child but it will come with a greater consequences okay breastfeeding at will or demand used during sleep and bottle fed beyond and beyond as one year poor oral hygiene depends upon the frequency and method of brushing habits quality of plaque removal similarly immunological factors are decreased host defense mechanism from saliva serum or gingival cravicular fluid Salivary factors uh, the contain antimicrobial proteins like lysozyme, lactoferrin, agglutinin, sec secretory immunoglobulins. These all help in the elimination of bacteria. If these are compromised, then the child is more prone to the early childhood caries. Similarly, acid fruit drink. Decrease in oral pH. Increases fermentation, demineralization. So, poor, poor oral health, poor kids with special needs at risk of the early childhood caries. Socioeconomic status. Similarly, socioeconomic status may contribute to the early childhood caries. Poor finance, poor standard of living, and uh, as they are uh, incapable of taking care for themselves, they can't obtain professional healthcare services, and lack of dental knowledge. They don't know the relationship between ECC, early childhood caries, role of cardiogenic food and use of bottle feeding, microbiology of caries, and they can't seek treatment on time. Here we have got a table from McDonald's and Avery, the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry caries risk assessment form for patients five years and younger. Okay, now, from this form we can determine how much risk the child has got to suffer from early childhood caries. High risks are if the mother or primary caregiver has active caries, if he or she is from low socioeconomic status, the child has greater than three between meals containing snacks, child is pushed to bed with bottle containing natural or added sugar. Risk groups include children with special health care needs, children of mother with a high caries rate, children with demonstrable caries, plaque, demineralization and or staining, children who sleep with a bottle or breastfed throughout the night, children in families of low socioeconomic status. And why do we need to identify the early childhood caries? Because if the damage is severe enough, the toddler can lose the front teeth. Okay? That should have been lost at the year 6 or 7, they will be lost early and which may cause serial complications. Developmental delays in speech may result. Delays in physical growth because the child cannot eat properly. There will be psychological trauma to the child. And these all are given by AAPD again. Okay, now let's uh, have a brief overview. Cariogenicity of sugar, we have the substrate, fermentable carbohydrates, and if the pathogens, the streptococcus mutants, they are cariogenic bacteria, and they produce acid, and if this could not, could not be buffered by the salivary antibacterial activity, buffering activity, and remineralization cannot take place at the rate of demineralization, the tooth surface will be um, demineralized gradually and the early childhood caries will be resulted. And the better we diagnose and provide the proper treatment, there will be less loss of the tooth structure and the prognosis of the tooth will be nice. We'll be, talk more, we'll be talking more about early childhood caries in our next video. For this, our references are McDonald's and Everest Dentistry for the Child and Adolescent, Textbook of Pedodontics by Soba Townan, and Textbook of Pediatric Dentistry by Nikhil Marwa. Thank you. If uh, you've got any questions, you can ask in the comments section below. Stay connected with us. Thanks for watching.